Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Toy Hacks Repro Labels review. And this time we're going over the brand new set for War for Cybertron Siege Hound. If you'd like to see my full review of the figure, just click the link above. This set includes a decal sheet on chrome backing, a decal sheet on clear backing, and an add-on piece that can be either a roof in vehicle mode or a tactical shield in robot mode. So let's start applying some decals and taking a look at Siege Hound both before and after. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Straight out of the box, Hound's vehicle mode is just flat out badass. It looks like a combination of the old Willis Jeep and the new modern style Hummer. He's covered in fantastic paint applications, which is pretty amazing for a deluxe figure. You can see all the gold trim along the hood, the tampographed Autobot symbol, the lights, and taillights on the rear. I mean, this thing is phenomenal. So anyway... There's one final look at Hound in vehicle mode before and after. The first thing you notice, of course, is Hound's brand new roof, which looks really good on this vehicle. Let me take that off for you so we can take a closer look at it. It's made of some nice, durable plastic. I mean, this doesn't feel cheap at all. I love the molded details on it. You, of course, add these stickers, but I think it looks really, really cool. Bonus question... Anybody know what the D12 stands for? Anyway, the roof secures really well in the opening that's already there on the vehicle mode. You just snap it in place and it's in there. It's not going anywhere. Other decals include a new gold trim along the front, blue headlights, a vehicle identification number there on the front, trim for the star that was already there. You can do gold trim as an outline or you have the option to put a gold star in the middle. He gets these new stars there on the front. The sides include new details for the rims, gold details along the side, and if you can see on the inside, see the control panel? If I can get that in there, see the control panel on the inside? I thought that was pretty cool. Flipping around the back, he gets new taillight stickers and identification stickers on the back. Oh, and I love this one. If I can get the focus in. G.I. Joe. Yo, Joe. So anyway, there you go, guys. There is Hound in his vehicle mode after. Hound straight out of the packaging in robot mode already features some outstanding paint details. The lights carry over very well from vehicle mode. You've got the stars here on his shoulders, the Autobot logo here on top of the chest, and the gold trim. Not to mention the lights, and I do like the scuffed paint damage on him. But all in all, he is not bad looking at all in robot mode. So there is one final look at Hound in robot mode before and after. A lot of Hound's decals from vehicle mode carry over very well into robot mode, but he does have a few robot mode specific ones, including new decals here on the wrists, decals on the belt buckle, the thighs, kneecaps, and down here on his shins. The before mentioned roof panel can convert into a shield in his robot mode, and it looks pretty good. It's got a peg right there that can plug into any of the ports that Hound has on his arm. But if you don't want it as a shield, you can easily plug it into the back where it's hidden away from sight. So there you go guys, there's one final look at Hound after. Hound's new decal set from Toy Hacks really surprised me. I wasn't expecting that much. I really didn't think they could add a lot to this character, considering he was a military vehicle and looked really good out of the package. Plus, I really wasn't sure how that roof was going to work. But, 
I was pleasantly surprised, and I can't recommend this set enough if you own a Siege Hound. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that I've done on Generation 1 Transformers, Modern Era Transformers, and Toy Hacks Repro Label sets. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. hoo -ah!